Congratulations on braving this presentation, because this title is totally misleading. I'm not going to talk anything about this in a serious manner. Um, I was going to call it Fast Times at My Sherpa High, but my coworkers all there expected more from me, so they got mixed. <laughs> Let's talk about wit. Wit and wit. One is the keen perception and cleverly apt expression, blah, blah, humor. The other one is a female IT advocacy group. Amazing. Now, Greg began my Sherpa in 2001 as a one-man operation because he saw that we were going to have a need for a balanced field. He's on vacation this week. I'd ask him more, but I'm not going to bother him. Ten years of progress. When we started, one man, zero women. Now, ten years later, four women. That's progress, people. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about this diversity. First, when there's more women in an office, we attend more social events. We have a commitment to meeting you face to face, and we're scarier when we travel in packs. <laughs> we have better communication. I don't really have any data to back this up, so I'm just going to make it look official. Here's an old style email. My timesheet got rejected. Oh, sad. But I don't know why, and I don't know how to fix it. I just kind of got that, and maybe I'll get paid? Not sure. Since we've had women in the office, our email style has evolved. Look, personal greeting, a statement of grievances, names of the responsible parties, and a clear call to action. There's even a fulfillment statement. No timesheet, no paycheck. <laughs> this has created a new standard in our office. And, uh, my name's on that list, by the way. All right, let's talk about close quarters. When we all spend eight hours a day together, sometimes we have to learn to adjust to each other. Occasionally, we need to communicate dissatisfaction. Lady Sherpas know how to deliver that message gently. All right, let's also talk about conversation. And we can freely discuss things which might have one time seemed offensive or invasive. We can answer questions like, where do you get that tattooed on your body? And what is it? Well, I, I can't answer why you would get a tattoo, but the Germans call that the Oshkobai, or ass antlers. it's <laughs> <laughs> unusual life interests. I'm sure if this guy was a Sherpa, he would have been highly praised for his knowledge of unicorns and creative use of vinyl and a blue gun. Lady Sherpas celebrate diversity. The Lady Sherpas also take great pride in being able to comfort our male counterparts. Sometimes my work spouse, Dave, gets a little stressed. If he seems to be having a bad day, I feel comfortable suggesting a personalized option to help him through that rough patch. As a young office with matched life experiences, we often discuss our career goals and continuing education events. Here's a great example of words to live by. Revenue for vanity, profit for sanity. We like to make money, and I bet that you do too. Let's celebrate that commonality. Okay, another taboo topic, but I think we've overcome it. Political ideals and current events. The Sherpas are mostly Democrats or Libertarians, I think. And we can usually talk honest politics until somebody actually goes to do some work and tells the rest of us to shut it. <laughs> Before the Lady Sherpas, the men were content to laze around behind their desks all day. Now we have a weekly physical challenge to relieve stress and boost morale. There's nothing quite like the thrill of nailing your CEO in the baby makers as he tries to make a Call of Duty corner shot on you. <laughs> Uh, I recently completed Prank of the Year on a coworker in the name of intelligence. It's kind of long to tell here, but let's just say it involved FedEx and an illegal cockfighting ring. <laughs> <laughs> now for some rough spots. Division of labor conflicts often are in the office kitchen. This one had three parts. One, the unaware employee. Two, using the entire staff email list to voice his complaints. And three, me answering smartly. <laughs> Conflict resolution is never solved with the reply all but. <laughs> okay, topics that are still off limits, clothes, makeup, hair, you know, Weight Watchers, no, porn stars, no, never. Um, okay, PCs and birth control analogies, uh, that 99% of the time they work, it's that 1% you have to worry about, same idea. <laughs> Unless the slide stops, we mention it first, keep it right here. My shirt is lucky because I have a pirate mouth, and I'm not afraid to use it. <laughs> Please use discretion in your own office. All right, here's acceptable neutral discussion topics. Whether weekends, kids, traffic, vacations, spouses, clients, pets, food, movies, and sports. Except that I just heard that sports was canceled and replaced with airspeed velocity of unladen swallows, but African and European. Okay, pitfalls to be aware of. Passive aggression. Don't throw your garbage can to the floor. It's annoying. Charlie Sheen tattoos. Tattoos in discussion. Good. Charlie Sheen, still volatile. All right, pitfalls. Alligators, watch out. And then misogynist artwork from the 1960s. If you say it's true, you'll get a beat down. <laughs> now, if we can successfully integrate women into this last fashion of men, though. So, can you? Thank you very much. Good night.